Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do a crazy video of let's switch things up. A number one, I'm getting bored. And two, I'm getting bored. It's time to make a change. When things aren't feeling motivating, it's time to switch a little thing uh, here and there up. So the one thing that I can switch up right now is my savings challenges. If you're new to my channel, my name's Amanda. I'm 33 years old. I live in Oregon and I'm an all cash budgeter. I do sinking funds, cash stuffing, savings challenges, all on a low income. Um, I am self-employed. Um, I do delivery driving for a living um, as well as my husband. We both do a little bit of side hustle work here and there. Um, so you will see some extra income from that as well. I also do a little reselling on the side as well. So let's get into it. Um, I want to let you guys know I'm keeping this challenge. We haven't had a real chance to get a go of this. But there's some challenges in here that I feel like we just keep doing. Um, I do want to vote, though. Let me know in the comments what you think. So I'm going to be keeping this scratch-off challenge for when I do scratch-offs. But we're going to pull the money for now. We only have six bucks in here. And it's not because, like I said, I don't, it's not because I didn't want to complete this challenge. It's just because it's time to start fresh. I do plan on pulling this forward um, in the next um, round of savings challenges after we start something fresh. So that way I can complete this beautiful challenge. Um, I got this from Tanya's Budgets in Chaotic Life, well, my husband did for me for Valentine's Day, so I'm just going to keep them unscratched. Um, we'll put an IOU sticker on this um, off camera, and I will put it into this back section of my uh, binder so I have something to pull from. We are going to keep this challenge, the Hello Kitty challenge. However, we are going to make a little change. So this challenge is no longer going to specifically go into anything because I feel like that's discouraging. We are going to pull our piece of the pie because we have finished this once already. I feel like it's time to get another one or two or possibly three dollar uh, savings challenge for that particular jar. So let's go ahead and I'm going to pop this out because we're going to pause the scratch offs for a moment. We're going to put that aside and we are going to pull a piece of the pie as well because that is something that needs to be pulled this money in here so we have five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen dollars yes including the five will go into the jar so we'll pull this really quick put that up there so we know we need to put that somewhere we are going to continue on with the bento box challenge we owe $10 to that. So we're going to actually shuffle some things around. We're going to... Actually, I'm just going to wait. Since we're keeping this one, we'll just leave that in there. And I know you guys love it. And we're keeping this one because we haven't given this one a fair chance. I know you love it. I know you do. I love it too. I'm not going to lie. I'm a shut the box addict. When I do shut the box again, which will be soon, it's going to be something, and my husband doesn't even know this yet. <laughs> We've talked about it like a little bit, and he tried to play and screwed it up uh, royally. He tried to pick these smaller numbers first. He's like, I have a nine. I'm going to do a whatever and whatever. Like, he was trying to bust out these little numbers. I'm like, dude. We're, we're uh, doing the smaller numbers last because 
Otherwise, if you stuff a 9 or 7 or an 8 or a possible more, uh, you're going to owe a lot of money. So the next time we do shut the box, it's going to be a challenge between myself and my husband. So you will see that very soon um, because I'm going to go make him bust his butt to um, come up with some money to play shut the box. Like, extra money. <laughs> uh I almost like feel like I'm smiling like the Grinch as I say that. Just to, so you're aware. I think it's gonna be fun. Am I gonna am I gonna I'm gonna kick his butt. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So we're actually down to these two challenges or three challenge well no four challenges. We have Hello Kitty. We have Bento Box. We have Struggle Bus. We have the Mini B Challenge, which is from Jamie, from Jamie's Realistic Life. We're going to start this. It's coming in here. Yep. That's right. Shut the box. Come on. Let's take out our IOU. This has been, like, overly, like, this has expanded. The envelope is expanded. I've used it so much. All right. So this challenge has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38 dollars. So we're going to utilize Mr. B over here for something specific. So I wrote on here on the top, which I'm going to actually white out. I don't know where my whiteout went. It's like my number one tool, guys. Whiteout. We love whiteout. Um, this whole thing is going to go to house savings. Yes, Jamie. You have a job. Well, you had a job. And you didn't even know it. You're going to help me with this little bee challenge to save for the house. <laughs> I laugh because I talk to her all the time on Insta. If, if you ever want to talk to me, I'm on Insta. Message me. I need a friend. I like friends. I feel like a little kid saying that. Uh, I was watching this guy on um, Facebook. My husband sent me the link. And he he's a teacher. And he's, he does all these different cute videos of him pretending to be the teacher or of the students of the class and the teacher. And one of the kids has lipstick around their mouth and, and she's a girl. And she's like, I don't even care. Uh. And I just, I thought it was so funny because that's how we were like back in the 90s. But I'm sure kids are like that now, especially girls. Girls are drama. Let's be real. We can all be drama, right? Right, ladies? So, I'm excited. We're just going to do what we can. This is a work in progress, Amanda. This is not a race. <laughs> when it comes to doing things, I feel like it's a race. I'm like... <sighs> I'm jogging. Then I'm running. I'm like literally like thinking that it's a race for me to get these challenges done. And it's not even like stressing me out. It's just keeping me excited. Um, I think the funniest part as well is that I like to see what everybody creates. But then I'm like, I have ideas to create something. And then when I go to create it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was not a good idea. <laughs> Or that didn't turn out. Bye. It's got to go to the trash. And I'm sure most of you guys would be like, oh, well, that was actually really good. And I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> like I was told the other day that I'm pretty creative. And I'm like, oh, thanks, I guess. But, you know, when you're a perfectionist or you're an artist or you do something that you truly are passionate about, you're not like... You're in it to win it, but you're, like, very hard on yourself. Um, and that's how it is. So we're going to 
give $10 to bento box challenge because I also feel like we haven't finished this one. We need to give it a chance. We're not going to roll today. Sorry, guys. This is just a swap out. So bento now has 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, and 42. And look, we're only on the second one. How much do you think we're going to save? I think we can get over 100. Well over 100. This is going to emergency fund. I'm not changing that. Um, I know that I need to have an emergency fund, but I think that I'm going to start funding other envelopes and adding a few specific envelopes that I need to continue to roll down the road, like car maintenance. I got asked the other day, like, why do I have a new car if I can't afford the maintenance? I maintenance my car. You just don't see it. Some things get pulled before I do certain things. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm spending any extra fun money or doing anything like that. But, like, if I have to go get an oil change, I'm just going to let you know in a video, I got an oil change. Um, <laughs> or I'm not there yet. I'm not ready for that. This is not going to work in the back there. This is in the way. Should have had Jamie blew this up. All right. So... We're all square. Hello Kitty, Bento, Struggle Bus, Mini B. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Struggle Bus. I got told by somebody in comments to do this one for the house savings too. We'll see. I have an emergency fund one that I want to do though. And I have a few from Hands and Bands that I want to do. If you, if you haven't checked out Hands and Bands, Alicia is amazing. She does a lot of really cool free challenges, and I love it. I the house one that I kept redoing, the one with where I picked which one or how much the denomination was, um, pretty much every day for the whole month. <laughs> um, that came from her as well. So, look at all these IOUs, guys, guys, guy, whatever. Can't talk today apparently. Look at these IOUs. They're gone. We're no longer going to do IOUs as well. Um, unless it's like a bigger challenge, like the bento box. Then I might do an IOU, but like some other game challenges, I'm just not going to do IOUs. We'll just stick like whatever, like a dollar in there or something. Does that sound fair? I feel like that sounds fair. Um, this one as well. The denominations are really small. I don't need to put IOUs for this really. Um, so and we'll, we'll only pull this a couple times during um, the actual gameplay. So there's that. Sad. These are going into retirement for this round of savings challenges. But I have a couple that I'm really excited about. I don't have them printed because I'm Kind of having some technical um problems with me and my computer and the printer. And I'm telling you guys, it's not the printer and it's not the computer. It's probably just me. Like 99.9% .9 sure. Ah, okay, so what did we save here? Oh, this is the unicorn. I'm going to put this aside. Lisa. Lisa, I'm talking to you from figuring out retirement. If you want this unicorn, you better let me know before I stick it in here. I could buy it back for myself. It's just a dollar, but, you know, let me know if you want that unicorn. I sent her a couple of unicorns. I was, I was like, looking all the time. I'm like, is there, is there a, an iBuck somewhere? Lisa's looking for iBucks for her alphabet um, challenge that she does with the alphabet whatever these um are <laughs> the letter books i can't even talk oh, i've been up since like 5 30 this morning and I'm, i've went to my temp job then i went out and worked and i'm gonna go out and work some more so um is it busy no no it's not busy and is it making me irritated guess it's making me irritated <laughs> am i gonna go back out anyway yes all right, so this iBuck I'm actually going to put over here because it's like in my way and it's kind of annoying me now. Go that way. You might be Lisa's, not mine. 
Okay. So, what do we have? What do we have? Let's put this in here. We'll just, we'll get, we'll get drastic with everything and just stick it all together. Sadly, this challenge has to be in retirement as well. For now. I'll come back to it because I like pie. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46 dollars. We saved 46 dollars in the matter of what two weeks? Not even quite two weeks. That's exciting. Something we can do with. So let's pull this lovely thing out. This is our handy dandy sinking funds. These are the only ones I'm stuffing until we get at least $500 into emergency before we go on to the next. So let's update this really quick. Well, I guess we can update it at the end. Then I don't have to write twice. Why would I write twice, Amanda? We don't do that. All right, so we have a 20 in this bad boy. Let's put this money back over here because it belongs in here into the sinking funds because that's where the challenges end up going. So, we're going to put 10 into emergency for sure. So, that'll bring it up to 30. And we're going to wait to write that one in because we might come back to it. All right, winter fund. If you do not know, I live in an area in which winter is um, bad. I could say a fancy swear word in front of bad, um, but <laughs> it can get bad. Um, I have been snowed in, um, dealt with um, a lot of snow, a lot of ice, unsafe conditions to drive. I have needed snow tires. I have needed chains. I have broke chains, returned chains, got new chains. Yes, you can do that. I'm just letting you know that, uh, especially if you go to like Le Schwab or some of these other fancy places. They want your business. They want to keep their customers happy. Um, snow tires tend to be about eight to twelve hundred dollars um, for my particular vehicle. I have a newer um, Kia Sportage. It's not very old at all, um, which hints why I also don't have an immediate car maintenance. Um, hopefully that doesn't jinx me. So universe be nice. Um, but we are going to put some money into this. This is if I can't work, if, um, we need to have something for whatever reason, um, you know, maybe we get sick, maybe we just can't work and it's flu season or, you know, something wonky comes up or, um, there's something to do with winter, non-Christmas, non-gift, just emergency. Okay, next is going to be taxes. Taxes is definitely, it's already here. Let's be real. Let's be real, Amanda. It's already here. Um, this is to do my taxes. I'm going to write on a, I'm going to write off enough and well, hopes to write off enough that I can just pay my tax lady and we start fresh halfway through the year. Is that fresh? Fresh for me, right? All right, Dead Snowball is going to get passed for the moment. House savings. What are we going to put in here? What do we got left? We got two fives and a bunch of ones. Let's give it five, six, seven, eight dollars as well. I feel like eight's the number today. I don't know why I picked eight, but I just started putting eight in. I had no plans, guys. No plans. Okay, so these are the immediate sinking funds. We're going to stick this aside for the moment, and we're going to pull this one. This is the $1 savings challenges I have 
going towards events in life that are going to come up and are going to totally kill my budget. Um, my husband has decided that if possible, we are going to possibly see a concert at the um, end of the school year, but we're not sure. Tickets haven't come out. It's been hit or miss on whether we're still going to do that. But he was like, I will fully fund it. Um, just go. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. We have county fair. This is in um, August. We have back to school, which is in September. Halloween, October. Thanksgiving, November. My husband's birthday is in November. He's going to have a Dirty 30 party. I don't care if that means that that Dirty 30 party is just a bunch of gamers chilling in the living room. We'll do that. Christmas gifts in December. Christmas dinner in December. And my little piggy. Yes, I call him my little piggy. And it's not because he's chunky. It's because of Peppa Pig. And he's had that little nickname for me for four or five years now and he's going to be nine. So he needs to have some gifts and he possibly wants to get a party. Sadly, a lot of our kids don't do well with parties. Like none of the kids show up like, dude, like I don't care if you bring your kid and you don't have a, you don't have a present. It's not about the presents. It's about the kids showing up and having fun and eating pizza and cake. So we're going to go ahead and stuff a dollar into county fair and let's do this pink color i don't know if you can hear my husband he's playing a video very loud downstairs it's kind of annoying but that's okay he's doing his thing he's chilling he's had a long hard day by the way, we did get a lot of Happy Mail, and I'm excited to show you guys in another video. So we have County Fair, which is getting a dollar, because that's going to be the closest event that my family is going to want to go to. Back to school is going to get skipped, Halloween's going to get skipped, Thanksgiving's getting skipped, birthday's getting skipped. Christmas, however, is a daunting task, but we love Christmas because it's Christmas. Is also going to get a dollar. We're going to start these things off. And it's only a dollar at a time. This is no rush. This is why we're starting it now because it's still March. So April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, we, we have quite a, quite a few months to go. So that's okay. We can we can deal with that. Let's do a pink bow since I cannot find red. We'll just make all these bows colorful. All right. A dollar at a time doesn't hurt. If you can't if you feel like you can't accomplish Christmas, start now. One dollar at a time. I'm also using um, any of my fetch rewards for this as well. Um, we are going to pass the rest of these up because I feel like they're not super like immediate right now. We're going to put this aside and we're going to go back to this. Let's put another five dollars into emergency because we don't have any plans of it going anywhere else. And then let's go ahead and see how much we have. We have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So I'm actually going to stick another dollar into emergency. And then we're going to just put all these dollars into each of these envelopes, which will make nine dollars for all of them. By the way, it's going to cost me like $600 to do my taxes because I'm a 1099. I'm going to skip that snowball. We're just going to put these other two into house savings. And I know I said that dollar challenge is going to go into the jar over there, but honestly, this jar is also the same as this. So this 
and this are the house savings. Um, I actually got offered by another fellow viewer to give me another one of those. So we'll see w when it comes in the mail what I'm going to use it for. I have some ideas. Oh, I will fill out these trackers off camera just so you're aware. Because I don't want to waste any more t of your time. And I want to get back out to busting my booty out there. Hustling. But that's all I have for you guys today. And now you guys see what I did with these challenges. Um, they're not finished. It's okay. We're going to start fresh. We, we need something fresh. Something new. Not because we couldn't complete the challenges. But because it's it's time. I've been doing the same challenges for a minute. And I just feel kind of bored. So... I will be doing some things with my computer and printer and possibly have my husband come up and print the stuff for me because, yeah, technology and Amanda don't mix all the time, um, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye!